there's a couple of things I could suggest to make your initial forays into brewing a lot better. For a new home brewer, some little piece of advice I would give. Number one, The Complete Joy of Home Brewing by Charlie Papazian. is kind of the home brewer's Bible. It's, uh, it's easy to follow for a brand new person. I would guess probably more than half of the brewers in America today got their starts with this book. With that, and, and part of that science is uh, massive attention to detail and cleanliness. So cleanliness is your number one rule for home brewers. Sanitize, clean, and then sanitize again. You've got to be sanitary in your process. You've got to clean your equipment. You always have to be clean when brewing. We are kind of extreme janitors 70% of our time, and then we brew this 30% of the time. Brewing's the fun part. You know, cleaning's really what we do. Us as production brewers, we're kind of, I joke around that we're glorified janitors because we do more cleaning than brewing. That's all brewing is, for the most part, is being a glorified janitor. You probably spend 80% of your time cleaning and sanitizing things. Clean everything, you know. Don't be afraid of cleaning twice, three times. Infections can happen anywhere in the brewing process, so in your bottle, in your mash tun, in your whirlpool. Especially after uh, you're cooling down your wort at the end of the boil. At that point, it becomes very susceptible to germs or bacteria that are in the air. Bottling day is no different. Make sure your bottles are very clean. Sanitize, sanitize, sanitize. Everything has to be clean. If you are dirty, you will make dirty beer. Dirty beer is not good. And it's okay to mess up. It's okay to dump beer. No big deal. Learn from your mistakes. But with that, keep very good record keeping so you know what you did wrong and you aren't going to do it again. Keep good records. Keep logs. Keep track of what you're doing. Follow your numbers. Follow your times. You know, taking notes and being very diligent about keeping a brew log. Be uh, as big of a beer geek as you can when you're making your beer. The more measurements you can take about the temperatures that you're doing process, the densities of the beer. And what I did, and how the beer turned out. All these sort of statistics, pH, the more you can gather, the better you're going to be able to replicate that beer once you do make that beer that you're like, wow, I want to do this again. While you're doing that, change one thing at a time. Maybe I changed something, and then how did that affect the end result? Make sure that you don't try and reinvent each brew can in its entirety every time. So you can see the differences, see the nuances by changing one ingredient, by changing one yeast strain. I would say some of the biggest rookie mistakes are made because they try to do too much in their first few brews. When you start out, keep it simple. I guess the tip would be to start small and then work your way up to the double IPAs or the you know, imperial stouts. Let's make a drinkable, clean beer first and really make sure we understand the science and we're being very, very clean, and then we can go tweak a recipe. Well, I mean, first of all, have fun. Brew the beers that you love. Creativity is extremely important. If I'm going to homebrew, I like to do something completely out of the box, wild. Be creative. Do different styles of beer. You know, like I'll try to culture yeast from my backyard and do a wild fermented beer. Sure, if you want to be safe, you can create your IPAs and pails, but create something you want to drink. Don't try and brew beers to uh, meet the palate of people that you don't even know. You can really go as extreme as you want or as traditional as you want. It's a really neat culture to get into. Don't get too hung up on styles. I think they're there as guidelines. Uh, make the beer again that you want to drink, that you want to share with your friends. It is a time to be an artist, and so that's fun. You know, in Missoula... We're very lucky in Missoula that we have a lot of good breweries. Uh, there's many places in the country that don't have a brewery. That's why it's so much fun in a community like this, because people appreciate Art, different art forms and we happen to be one that you can consume. Well, The breweries are the places where it seems like Americans let down the gu their guard a little bit. They connect with a little bit more of their heart, they laugh with a little bit more of their belly. And so I would say know your brewer, get to know them, talk to them, pick their brains. Um, there's a lot of insight there that will help you make better beer as you get more into home brewing. So the more you brew, the more experience you get and the better you're going to be. But just remember, you're just brewing beer. You're trying to have fun. If you get a little hectic or frantic, just relax and have fun.
have a homebrew. So be creative, be clean, take lots of measurements, and keep brewing.